Hello everyone, I have been going through a very difficult time in my life and that's the reason why I've been offline for the past several months but I don't know, I debated on making YouTube videos because I just lately I've been having a very hard time finding any motivation or just any meaning in anything to be honest at the beginning of the year I lost I lost my youngest sister and it's been really hard to navigate she had just turned 16 and um, I mean she was just a baby um, I don't really want to get into the specifics of what happened just because it makes me very emotional, very sad. <sighs> but oh, let me get some tissue. So like I was saying, my little sister just had turned 16 back in October and she passed away on January 8th and she just left us in the most cruel way possible. She was shot and killed by her boyfriend. Um, to this day, I haven't had the guts to read the police report. Just because I know I can't. I just, my sister, my brother, Anthony, they read the police report and they told me not to read it because... <laughs> There was no need to read it, but that's how she passed away. Um, it's been very difficult to live, I guess. Some days are very hard, and some days are easier than others because thankfully a lot of you have been praying for us, and... I do believe that everyone's prayers have given us the strength that we need to navigate what we are going through. I, I just feel like I don't even know who I am anymore. Like, she is and was such a huge part of my life. Growing up, I, since I was the oldest, I always took care of my siblings. I always went to all of their sporting events. I mean, I never missed a single event. I would take time off work so I could attend their sporting events. And when we moved here to Maryland three years ago, I was devastated that I was going to be, you know, missing a lot of that time frame where she would be um where she would be a freshman sophomore junior however i know that i had to also live my own life and i decided to come out here to maryland with anthony because he's in the military and so he was serving his contract and now we're at that time when the three years are over so we're actually moving back to utah here soon and actually there's this house is completely empty there's nothing in here and I just, I've been very emotional just because I was so excited to go back home because I was going to be able to attend all of her sporting events. She was a sophomore, so she was going to be a junior. And just being with her and my family, and now it's, I'm scared to go back. I'm scared to move back home and just continue living without her knowing that every single place of back home reminds me of her because we were so close and we were always together and it's almost like bittersweet because i'm so glad that we're going back home to utah and being with our family members but it's like a piece of my heart will forever be missing like I told Anthony the other day, I feel like, you know, time heals all wounds, luckily, but there are some wounds that just cannot heal, and you just have to learn to live with the pain, and I know that 
for a hundred percent know that I will never be a hundred percent happy but again you know a lot of people aren't I just don't feel like I'm ever going to reach a point where life is okay on the surface I'm very good at pretending whenever Anthony is home I joke I laugh I kid I'm very high energy if you know some could say I have too much energy but whenever I'm alone is when things just go downhill I you know sometimes just lay there and cry for hours and go over scenarios in my head over and over and I can't help but feel guilty because I honestly feel had I been home the past three years we would not be where we are today because I was such a big influence in her life and I feel like I left her during the most formative years of her life and I know everyone says it's not your fault and you could have never known but honestly I think that I am partially to blame because I should have been there for her the day she passed away it was on a Sunday I thought about texting her in the morning but I had a bunch of chores to do I had to do laundry wash dishes clean you know all that sort of sort of stuff and I told myself if I text her now I'm gonna get distracted talking to her so I will just text her later when I'm done with everything and of course that day I ended up finishing everything that I had to do late at night and I just told myself I'll just text her tomorrow since I'll have more time because I freed up today and tomorrow never came and I feel guilty that I didn't talk to her for stupid reasons and you always hear you always hear people say text hug your loved ones just stay in contact but it never really resonates until it happens to you until you experience it you understand how you take everything for granted and right now it's just been very difficult to not blame myself because i i do i know i am partially to blame for what happened but that's just something that i'm gonna have to navigate and work through and I don't know, I just hope that one day I can live a semi-decent life without always being sad. I hate being sad. I do not like to be in a state of anger, sadness, just pity. I'm, I'm not that person. I like to be outgoing, happy. So I think think that's what's been helping me that I've been trying to stay motivated to stay positive even though it's been so difficult I can't honestly I can't even imagine how my parents are doing I talk to them but I just I know that they're pretending to be okay because they're not I mean who loses a child and is okay like they're never gonna be okay I honestly look up to my parents so much. They are so strong. They've lost three children. I actually am not the oldest. I had an older brother who died when he was about two years old. Then it goes me, my sister, my brother, and my youngest sister. But before she was born, my mom had a miscarriage. And then several years after that is when my sister Jackie was born. And just to know that they've experienced the loss of three children, I honestly do not know how they are that strong. Not to mention my mom last year lost my grandma to COVID. And a couple of years before that, she lost my grandpa. So she's had a lot of loss within a short period of time and my dad he's actually lost two sisters he lost one sister to cancer 
and then his other sister was actually murdered by her boyfriend so he also has experienced a lot of pain and a lot of loss in his life <sighs> i just i mean i look at them and i think how like how is it possible to experience so much pain and be expected to be okay and just continue like everything is fine because loss definitely messes you up in every way shape and form but anyway i just wanted to come on here and just update as to why i've been gone and i want to keep making youtube videos because i consider myself to be a creative person and i like making youtube videos i like having an out and having an outlet where i can be creative but i don't i don't know i i don't know what my videos are gonna look like just because like i mentioned earlier i've had a very hard time finding just any meaning in anything but i know that if i dig a hole and climb in it i'm not gonna get out of it so I just have to force myself, I have to push myself to find some normalcy again because just everything is different. I think about her as soon as I wake up throughout the day at night. I mean, I think about her 24 seven because I just, I miss her so much and I know that I'll see her again. I know for a fact I will see her again, but It's just really hard to not be able to just call her or text her or FaceTime her. It's just been a very hard time in my life and I know I'm also a lot more like emotional as of late because the hearing is coming up here soon and I don't want to go, but I feel like I will regret not going. I wouldn't be there for my family, for Jackie, but I don't, I just, I don't want to see his face. He literally took one of the most important people in my life away for no reason, for no reason. And I just, I don't want to see him in the courtroom but like i said i feel like i need to be there for my family just for jackie but anyway that's what's been happening in my life i know this isn't something that you see every day you know on your youtube like explore page or whatever but I can't just come on here and pretend like nothing happened when my whole world has literally been flipped upside down. But I thank you so much if you still stay subscribed and if you subscribed while I was gone. Um, that's why I've been gone, but I do plan to come back on YouTube. And yeah. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one hopefully soon because like I said we are moving back to Utah that's been a whole mess we still don't have a home we've been trying to get a home but we can't until we have uh, you know like pay subs from our jobs in Utah but how is that gonna happen if we're not there all of our stuff is gonna be in a storage unit we're gonna be living with my brother for a couple months until we can find a home so it's just a a very stressful time in my life and yeah but anyway i will see you in the next one bye